Yes. Bangladesh has come far in its quest for a thriving education system. Enrollment rates are as high as 97% across 30,000 schools in the country. But this quest for education is also taking students far away from home. Over 50,000 students left for higher education abroad in just a single year. That's also approximately 1.8 billion US dollars flowing out of the country. 66% of these students move to these 10 countries across the globe to learn and excel at the world's best institutions and academic centers. But what if the world's best learning came home to our students? Because tomorrow's journey has already begun today. And uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, who have joined our live session. Today I have with me Jamaluddin Jami, who is the head of enrollment for UCB uh, Monash programs here in Bangladesh. Uh, so just as you have heard, uh, it's global programs. What if the global programs are brought here to you locally? And when I mean locally, I mean Dhaka, I mean Bangladesh, you can get the Monash degree uh, from uh, the center of uh, Dhaka uh, now through UCB. Just to tell you a lot more about UCB, of course, uh, Jamal Bhai is going to pitch in. Let me reflect on the mission of UCB, where they are working with young aspiring students to become visionary leaders, innovators, entrepreneurs, and game changers of tomorrow. Now, uh, let me... Uh, uh, again put it out to you that uh, UCB will be offering Monash University Australia uh, degrees uh, to Bangladesh and at U uh, Universal College Bangladesh uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hot spot where uh, they transform the learning experience into a more holistic process that complements textbook learning with a practical understanding and emotional reasoning. Each student uh, who will go through UCB will be armed with the skills needed to succeed in their individual careers and to bring dynamism and structure to their teams and sustain their own development in a global uh, workspace. Uh, I want to work, welcome again, uh, Jamal Zin. Thank you for joining today. Thank you. Thank you, Tushar Bhai, for inviting me today. Thank you very much. So uh, starting off uh, with the UCB, could you please uh, enlighten our uh, students here? They are mo mostly uh, students who study abroad. Uh, they are looking at uh, Canada. They are looking at uh, USA uh, and Australia, uh, among other destinations, uh, and UK as well. So what does UCB offer to these students? Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Tushar for giving me the opportunity. Thank you, the participants of uh, Hijiko Pathway. Uh, let me first uh, uh, give, give you the answer of a very important question. What is Universal College Bangladesh? And what is its affiliation with Monash Australia? Universal College Bangladesh is the exclusive partner of Monash College Australia. And Monash College Australia is fully owned by Monash University. More than half of the students of Monash University basically go through Monash College programs. So Universal College Bangladesh under this partnership, exclusive partnership, partnership with Monash College Australia, we do offer a few programs right here in Bangladesh. Later on, I'm going to explain. Also, um, uh, we are the first and only Ministry of Education approved in a national education provider here at this moment in Bangladesh. Again, I'm repeating, first and only Ministry of Education approved in a national education provider here in Taka. So the programs we have brought with Monash College Australia, Monash University Foundation Year Program, which is equivalent to Monash uh, Australian Year uh, 12. It means right after year O level, you can start your Monash University degree journey. So after year O level, it means 
year 11, you can start your Monash University degree journey. Once you study here one year at, uh, I mean, uh, complete your Monash University foundation year, that will give you 100% guaranteed entry into Monash University, either in Australia or Malaysia. Also, this, uh, I mean, this foundation year program is a kind of international passport for you. Like if you are not interested to go to Australia, but you want to start your in international degree journey here, you can, after your all level, join Universal College Bangladesh, do your Monash University Foundation Year program. That will give you a kind of international passport to start your international education from first year anywhere in the world. You can start in Canada, USA, UK, uh, whatever you want to study. So this MOF is accepted everywhere. Uh, also, you offer Monash College Diploma, which is equivalent to Monash University first year. It means after your uh, AS or A level, you can start your uh, first year degree journey right here at Universal College Bangladesh. That will give you 100% guaranteed entry into second year at Monash University either in Australia or Malaysia. And I mean, not only that guaranteed entry, I mean, it will help you to save, uh, I mean, to save your significant amount of tuition fees and accommodation fees. For example, if you want to study Australia, that might cost you like uh, uh, 25 to 30 lakh staka per year. Also accommodation fee 10 to 12 lakh staka. So once you start your degree here for one year we are charging like six lakhs to seven lakhs so uh i mean you will be able to save uh, more than 25 lakhs taka each year once you start through universal college bangladesh and for the students those who are looking for to start your international education journey monash university is a world top 100 ranked university so uh, i mean uh, as you are staying in bangladesh you might have pretty good idea about that uh, world ranking. I mean, uh, in terms of uh, comparing with our local universities, I mean, we do not stand anywhere in international ranking. Like uh, we do not have any single university within, within top 500, within top 1000 in international ranking. For, for Monash University, right here in Dhaka, you can start. It's a world top 100 ranked university. So for QS ranking, it is 58. Uh, I mean, you are getting that opportunity to study in this. Uh, I mean, we must appreciate the initiative of STS Group. If I talk about STS Group, you might have heard about DPS STS School, right? Evercare Hospital, ISD. ISD. These right. are the ventures of STS Group. So now this time STS Group has brought another one top brand. I mean, with the local brands they have started here. So, uh, I mean, uh, only for you, you can start your international education right here from now on. Okay. Uh, on, on another topic, uh, Jamal Bhai, I just want to uh, speak to you frankly. Now, you have been in this education business for quite some time. Uh, of course, before UCB, you used to work with some of the most prominent universities. Now, coming back to your point where you just mentioned that uh, we have so many good universities in Bangladesh, uh, private universities, and of course, uh, a world-renowned um, uh, you know, public university, more commonly known as the Oxford of the East. Uh, so what is your take? Now, Let's talk about the private universities first. They are taking something around seven to eight lakhs uh, for, for their bachelor's degree. And uh, of course, uh, uh, Monash uh, Foundation Year program is much lower than uh, those. But uh, apart from the uh, tuition fees and all that, what, what do you think? Why is it so that we have so many good private universities in Bangladesh and we have been trying to meet with the uh, you know, the essentials uh, of uh, global universities, but why are we not in the 500 ranking? Uh, wh what do you think your, what's your take on, on it? Uh, yes, I have been working uh, with different private universities uh, uh, since my uh, graduation. Uh, truly speaking, uh, uh, I did not have any idea about that international education, though I'm part of international education. I was a student. Uh, I mean, uh, of uh, a university which is not in this country. So what happened like uh, here in Bangladesh, the curriculum, the syllabus and the class method we uh, are for following for international, it is totally different. For example, I, I can give you a very practical example of Universal College Bangladesh that uh, the way we are teaching. So that way the curriculum is prepared and designed in a way uh, 
I mean, that makes sure that each student is engaged with the, the whole learning process. So, mm -hmm. for example, uh, for a particular lecture, there are certain activities pre class activity, during class activity, and uh, after class activity. And you are monitored. Your every step is monitored by that model online learning system. So you need to take part on this process or else you will be absent. Uh, and once you are absent, it will fail you to progress. Mm -hmm. It means you do not have that much pressure for the exam, rather, each day you do have a regular task to complete, to perform in a class, even after the class, even before the class. So that engagement is important where our local students struggle. For example, after O level, when uh, once a student joined us and they initially they struggled. So our teachers conducted some additional classes on Saturdays and on Thursdays, I mean, beyond their regular classes, so right. that our students can cope up. But directly, if you go to Australia, Canada, USA, you will not have that help. What happens is students struggle, they fail in first semester, and they mm. cannot cope up with the environment, I mean, international curriculum. For example, in school curriculum, we are not acquainted with the presentation assignment, we are not acquainted with the tarnitin, I mean, similarity testing, but in university we are. So what happens after O level or A level, once a student goes directly for outside, they have to cook their own meal. They, uh, I mean, uh, they need to think about their staying, costing and other things and also assignment and this engaging class uh, thing. But once they stay with their family members, with the comfort of, uh, I mean, staying with oh, their family members, yeah. they do not have to worry about that meal and fooding and accommodation thing. Rather, only they can concentrate on their education. Once they come here and do that, it gets easier for them to understand within one or two months. And uh, they are, once they're acquainted and they start their second year or third year in Australia, Malaysia, or whatever in the world, they, I mean, they can easily cope up with that uh, international curriculum. So again, the process, the research, the investment, the faculty development programs, these are the benchmark, I mean, way above what we are providing for our local universities. Right, and uh, of course, not to mention the cultural shock uh, that is uh, entitled with every student as they go abroad and, and uh, you know, study uh, with, with a very diversified, uh, you know, uh, nationals but eventually they'll have to do it in the second year or third year they'll be moving to australia or malaysia monash campuses after getting the uh, monash foundation degree that's the first year now <clears throat> i have personally finished my uh, a levels uh, back in 2014 now my through my experience i've seen that a lot of uh, students who uh, after graduating from o levels find it very difficult to complete their a levels uh, education and uh, you know uh, I, I don't know the current situation but uh, back in 2014 and 15 there were certain organization or institutions who provided something called the GED which was an alternative for an A level uh, and uh, education but of course uh, way way below par of what uh, we used to get from uh, the GCAC or GCE uh, but still students, a lot of students opted for that, uh, you know, uh, alternative degree, uh, more known as a general education, uh, something GED degree. Now, uh, what is your take for the programs that are on offer for A-levels? They are saving time. They are not falling into that trap of a very subpar GED degree. Uh, and also uh, we have scholarships, if, if I'm not wrong, at UCB yeah. for A-level students. We do have a scholarship for both A levels, O levels, AS level students. I mean, uh, as we have been offering different programs, like after O level, they do not need to go for A levels. Yes, as you were a student of A levels, you know, it is a bit tough, a bit hard for our students. So they struggle to get good grades. Rather, after O levels, it is comparatively easy for them to 
uh, get good grades so they can uh, have a scholarship here at foundation year program at universal college bangladesh and once they can clear certain marks and that is i mean what is our expectation is more than 80 percent marks but if they can clear only 74 percent marks they will receive a scholarship from australia uh, i mean yeah. uh, for malaysia it is different benchmark to get this scholarship so uh, i mean at, at least six thousand usd they will receive once they get 74 percent marks here right here at universal college bangladesh it means um, that they do not need to go for two-year uh, uh, A-level exams. Rather, after their O-level, they can come here, they can study one-year foundation year program that uh, it is equivalent to Australian get 12. It means once you do have uh, that great 12 equivalent degree that will give you international passport to go anywhere in the world and you're having a degree from monash college so nice. i mean one of the world top ranked universities so that degree it will be accepted anywhere in the world so why are you taking that chance of getting a low score in a level and uh, i mean uh, hassle in dhaka city i mean traffic going to school going to schools as well as paying the tuition fees and uh, running after t uh, i mean tutors uh, for mm -hmm. a lot of subjects so without uh, these things rather directly come to universal college bangladesh do your foundation year program we do have that world class education here we do have monash trained faculty members 100% monash curriculum and evaluation procedure and monash standard admission i mean the whole academic environment that will uh, help you to uh, i mean get good score in your foundation year program to get the international passport to go anywhere in the world right on on that topic uh, so uh, they will be getting the same monash standard education in bangladesh so how is ucb ensuring that that is the same world class monash australia degree or the academic experience that they're going to get from here in Bangladesh. How, how is this maintained through UCP? Fine. Uh, two things like uh, one is uh, recognition. As uh, uh, Monash University does have, I mean, through Monash College, they do have, um, I mean, uh, campuses uh, outside of Australia, like in Singapore, in Malaysia, Sri Lanka, China, Bangladesh, and all this curriculum of, I mean, all the campuses are bound to follow the curriculum of Monash Australia. It means the recognition, the same standard, even sometimes we do have sister concern in Sri Lanka, Universal College Sri Lanka. We are here at Universal College Bangladesh. I mean, in Sri Lanka, Universal College Sri Lanka, and they, uh, I mean, that they, they created that history in terms of Monash, I mean, in the history of Monash, by, uh, I mean, placing themselves in academic standard that excellence they have created, um, I mean, in terms of result. So, see, we do have the similar kind of chance to overcome even Melbourne campus. So all the campuses are same, the curriculum are same, even classes are same. Teachers are trained by same trainers and, uh, I mean, evaluation, curriculum, model, classroom, academic standard, acceptance worldwide, everything is 100% same. The difference is you are staying with your family members and starting with the, with your comfort zone. Uh, and also you are having your local faculty members, they will help you beyond your classroom because this is the first year for us. We do have our own challenges uh, to uh, get a good standard, to set a good standard, uh, I mean, to compete with uh, Melbourne campus as well. So same academic curriculum, same academic standard and recognition and acceptance worldwide uh, will be here. And for the faculty members, as I have already mentioned that all the members were recruited and vetted and trained by Monash, uh, Monash Australia. So no worry about that faculty standard. Okay, great. So um, I think the global competition will always you know, keep UCB pushing for harder grounds and making sure that they get the, uh, you know, world-class education that they would have got uh, anyway in Australia and Malaysia in Monash campuses. Now, uh, uh, Jamal Bhai, to a uh, question uh, very specifically to you, what does the power of a UCB Monash certificate uh, bring to a student in, in, in very short? Uh, for example, after all level, you will start your Monash University Foundation Year program anywhere, anywhere in the world. It could be in Australia, Malaysia, China, Singapore, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh. The acceptance is same. So based on our previous uh, history that our students go 
everywhere in the world, like USA, Canada, UK. So that's the power uh, we are holding at this moment with us. So you can just, uh, without giving your second thought, start your foundation year program at Universal College, Bangladesh. So you've already answered my next question, but my last question towards you is, would this degree be valid for people who are more interested in going for higher studies in US and Canada, not Australia, would this be valid, uh, globally accepted? This movie. Yes, of course, as I have already mentioned, it is it is well accepted. It is well accepted. Uh, I mean, uh, you are part of uh, See, I mean, for a level, AS level, what we do, we, we, we uh, follow a curriculum from Cambridge or uh, from Edexcel, I mean, Pearson. Uh, here we have been following a curriculum set by Monash University, while top ranked university. I mean, that curriculum we have been following and it, it is well accepted throughout the world. No problem with that. Right. So uh, to all, all my viewers who are watching today, uh, it is surely a venture to look uh, into. Uh, you could know more about the Monash University Foundation year and the Monash College Diploma programs, uh, or the requirements and what you require, even uh, a sort of like a holistic cursory picture of their tuition fees on their website. They have an amazing team of uh, counselors waiting for you to directly call them and, and mr tushar and mr tushar also i would like to request you to play a video of our beautiful campus and i would oh, like yes. to i have the yes. pleasure to invite all the admission seekers I and mean, before you take the decision visit our campus talk to our counselors they'll be helping you to guide better to take a better i mean to take a decision that will place you um in a in a better position wherever you want to go but before taking that decision visit our campus and uh whenever we invited our alumni they came here and they uh i mean they 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 made a comment uh they made comments on uh the campus that okay it is a mini monash what everything is monash and i believe once you are here to see the campus you'll not be able to hold yourself back i mean from taking pictures so and uh, this media. is an open invitation uh, from mr yeah. jamal the head of enrollment to any student who's watching this video right now to come visit the campus for once and experience what it feels like to be in a world-class uh, academic uh, environment. So for those who cannot visit right now, here is a short clip of how beautiful UCB is. Wow, such an amazing campus, and it it kind of uh, carries uh, our Bangladeshi culture and heritage with it. I was personally lucky to visit the campus myself, and uh, I had only amazing things to say about the campus and the staff. They were very friendly and very welcoming. So, uh, all of you who are watching this live here, uh, you could definitely make a visit to UCB before you make a decision. You can take your friends, your uh, parents. Or whoever your uh, you know your guidance whoever wants who's interested in the programs or just want to experience what a world class uh, university campus could look like uh, over to you uh, jamal bhai for your last words uh, thank you. Thank you very much for inviting me. We are partners, Educo Pathway and Universal College Bangladesh. So if any anyone wants to get admitted for Universal College programs, like Monash programs at Universal College Bangladesh, they can directly communicate with Educo Pathways or they can directly come to Universal College Bangladesh. I have the pleasure to invite you all to visit 
once at least before you take the decision to go anywhere in the world or you decide for local universities uh, because um, it, it, once you get admitted for uh, at Universal College Bangladesh you are all, uh, ultimately becoming part of Monash University world top ranked universities and uh, it is uh, I mean I mean in QS ranking it is 58 I mean, it holds 58 position. I mean, there are universities in Ivy Leagues that more than 200, 300. Right. So there are Ivy Leagues. I mean, for Monash University, see 58 position. So once you become part of Monash University, it will not only help you to build your career, rather it will be, I mean, it will help you to build your life, to change your life, to change your future. So, you know, that I mean, before pandemic and after pandemic, two worlds are totally different. So if you want to right. survive, if you want to lead in the coming world you need to be different you need to be exceptional you need to have some i mean you need to have degrees from exceptional institution and this is the first time that bangladesh government has approved first time uh, for international education provider right here in Dhaka. so we have been providing monash university foundation program uh, monash university first day equivalent degree a uh, monash college diploma programs so that opportunity to your doorstep so don't miss that opportunity start your monash university degree journey then decide what can be done in future so it will not only build your life it will uh, build your career it will help you to build your life for the future and if you want to really fight for your future career this is the right i mean opportunity for you to take decision uh, at this moment and uh, announcement for you that uh, I mean, our Monash University first year degree equivalent program, we call it Monash College Diploma in IT, Engineering, um, Business, and Applied Data Science. So the admission is uh, going to close in 18 October. So only one or two weeks are left. So if, uh, I mean, don't miss that opportunity. If you miss, you have to wait next semester. So don't miss that. Start, uh, I mean, visit our office, check your elig eligibility for scholarship as well as enrollment. And every Saturday we do have a spot admission. So we have been offering 30 to 40 percent scholarship. If you are eligible, you will get it. So also you are invited to check your that eligibility at, uh, at Universal College Bangladesh. With that note, I'm done signing off from here. Thank you very much. Fantastic. So uh, you know, make a plan for this Saturday, guys. I mean, just go visit the campus with your parents, with your friends, uh, figure it out, see if you like it. Uh, spot admission is going on. Uh, of course, uh, Jamal Bhai is going to be there again with a very, uh, you know, expert team of counselors who can guide you, not uh, not only for uh, MUFI, but for other uh, educational uh, softwares as well. Suraya Sumi, thank you for uh, writing. Uh, it is a wonderful campus. Uh, it's uh, nothing can compare uh, with any other campuses in Bangladesh. You cannot uh, do that and you can see it for yourself. So uh, global education, global faculty, a tuition which is affordable, scholarships, everything. Right now, you don't have to take a, a plane and go outside the borders anymore. Uh, it's right here in Dhaka, right here in Bangladesh you can get uh, a Monash accredited degree. Uh, and with that, I would like to uh, thank you, uh, Jamal Bhai, for joining us for, uh, for a session. Uh, I hope this uh, uh, session was, uh, you know, valuable information for a lot of students. Uh, for more information, for people who'd like to talk a bit more and to understand a bit more before they make uh, the final, you know, uh, university tour or the campus tour, you have our link on our Facebook. You can message us directly and our team uh, in Educo will uh, give you the right information and connect you with uh, Jamaluddin Jami. Thank you so much uh, Jamal Bhai once again for joining. Thank you, uh, thank you all of you who have joined, taken the time to join this session. Until thank further you. ado, stay safe, uh, you know, be happy. Uh, we'll meet uh, very soon again. Thank Thanks. you.